What's up, YouTube? It is Airborne Sapper bringing you number five. Video number five. Dang, man, we're running deep into this run. Uh, I'm wearing my throwback shirt. Dang, man, when I seen this shirt, I had to pick it up. All the old school uh, Nickelodeon guys. We got Reptar, you got the Thornberries. Hey, Arnold Crew on here. Rock was on our live. Uh, let me see. Rugrats, All Real Monsters, got the half on the corner. Man, I seen this shirt, I was like, I gotta scoop it up. But, but anyways, we're just gonna get into this run, talk about these cover swipes, and I hope you guys enjoy. Now, kicking at, at number 25, we have... The Uncanny x -Men. Now this is a cover swipe off of the Ghetto Boys album. Ghetto Boys. Uh, they, the Ghetto Boys remix. Uh, this group was born and majority raised in Texas uh, around the Fifth Ward. Uh, they have a lot of members in a group who were exchanging. Some broke up, some stayed. Some of the members was Raheem, The Stir, uh, Jukebox, uh, Sir Mix a Lot, uh, Lil Billy, DJ Red, Ready Red, DJ Ready Red. Uh, Scarface was a member a couple of times. Um, one of their biggest hits were My Mind's Playing Tricks on Me. And what's funny about this, the, the cover is this cover right here from the album of the Ghetto Boys was actually uh, a swipe off of the Beatles. <laughs> Let's be ready. So that's I found that funny when I when I was looking it up. Uh, this is the off of the second album, and uh, this is a good looking cover. It's it's basically basic. They're in the lineup. They have they have all the members, and you see you know some of the members on the album: Mystique, and Neo. You know, Sabretooth is in there too. Sabretooth picture <laughs> looks like who who wants to rest that fool? But. Um, I wish they would have used their 1991 cover uh, when the little Billy was shot and was carted into the hospital and they took a picture for an album cover. That cover would have been uh, amazing to see them do a swipe. But let me show you this cover and you just take a look and let me know what you think. For number 26, we have Venom Face Night. It was an awesome cover. Awesome cover. I actually got one signed by the artist, Mike Cho. So if you want to check that out, go to my LA, LA Con video and check what I brought back from uh, the con. Now, back to the album. This is a cover swipe off of Cool Key's fourth solo album. He also did two albums with the Ultra Magnetic MCs. Remember that? Remember that name. Uh, but this album from Cookie was called Black Elvis Lost in Space. So it's funny. That's where they get the, the, the Space Night. You know? So I guess Marvel put that together. Uh, it's very similar to the album. Uh, actually, the artist told me he it was too close and they made him change it. So. They both have the symbols on the side, the letters are the same, and they have the Venom leaning back. <laughs> uh, it's cool to lean back with some shades. So, I mean, that's pretty awesome. Take a look. Check it out for yourself. And for number 27, we have. Captain Marvel. Trying to find the glare. There you go, Captain Marvel. This is a cover swipe off of a fairly new artist uh, named Iggy Azalea. She is from Sydney, Australia. She shot a couple of YouTube music videos, caught the eye of an artist called T.I. He signed her to a label put out a couple mixtapes with her, the people liked her, so this is off her first LP record uh, in America called The New Class. So this is a 
it had a couple of hits. Uh, Fancy was the big one that came out with it. Work It, Black Widow. Um, so, fairly new artist. <laughs> She's been in the headlines for some other stuff. But, yeah. This, this, this cover really didn't do for me that much. Uh, I kind of felt that there are much more important artists that they could have done uh, to do Captain Marvel. Uh, you can see there uh, in the album, it is rocking a, a jacket or a weird jacket, so they symbolize that kind of the same. Uh, the Captain Marvel uh, is the same letter on the album cover. And in the back is a house, but they have this symbol. I mean, I'm not sure if this is her the spaceship that she works at. But if you guys can let me know in the comments, uh, that'll help me. Uh, but yeah, that's it about this cover. Like I said, not really, not really excited about this cover. <laughs>
uh, machine gun and rocket and sharks and stuff. So uh, this is a very clever cover, you know. Uh, clever cover, you know. That's all I gotta say. I'll let you guys take a look uh, and tell me what you think. What's up, guys? I appreciate you guys watching, checking out the five color swipes. Like I said before, I know I'm beating this like a dead horse, but I'm shortening up the videos so they're watchable. <laughs> and I'm going to put out more to you a week. So probably after this, I'm going to start recording and researching books that, you know, some of these covers and some of these groups, I don't have much info about. I know they exist, but I'm trying to bring more info for you guys. And so I'll probably start shooting and then edit it later on in the week so I can put out to you. Uh, I'm probably going to drop my next one on Thursday. Wednesday, I got my haul pickup video. And I'm also dropping a Scotty Young pin video for you guys soon. And I decided for Fridays, I'm going to do Fungo Fridays. So Fridays, I'm going to go pick out some Fungo Pops. And I'll shoot a video and let you know what I grabbed. Or if I pick out some during the week, I'll save them for Friday. So again, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys liked, what were your favorite covers, and what albums do you think that, you know, they need to do. Uh, it doesn't even have to be hip-hop, you know. So again, this is Airborne Sapper. Peace. You guys have a great week. And I'm out.